Yo, what's up, everybody? Welcome to the Sibling Battle YouTube page. Uh, it's your girl, Tasha Jordan. And as you can see, Eli is not with us today. Nope. But we have a special guest, my dad, uh, Damon. Yep. It's probably the only time I'm probably going to say that uh, today. <laughs> <laughs> Damon, the better version of Eli. The better version of Eli. That's <laughs> what you're saying. That's yes. what you're going with. That's what I'm going with. That's funny. Um, but no, you're the, probably the reason why I'm in the Jordans the, the way that I that I am. Um, you you gave me the name. Those are facts. Um, yeah, you know, we uh, when we named you, your mom loved Natasha. Yeah. I was big into Jordan, favorite basketball player. She liked Jordan too. Um, we didn't like it as a first name, but we we're like, man, middle name would be great. So, yeah. Natasha Jordan. That's that's how you came about. And here we are. Tasha Jordan is is the name that we're going with. Um, but yeah, big on shoes in our family. It, it, it stems from you. Um, yeah, you so, were in Jordan pretty much from birth. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like all your shoes were were J's. Uh, that's not your fault. Yeah, we would still have them. <laughs> we pass them along to everybody. But, yeah, that's you know, it's the way to do it though. You keep it keep it going. Um, but. What we have here to get started, I told y'all last week that I, I won some some shoes I was very excited about, and they came in today. So you guys get to see it. It's my the first time me opening the box. Uh, but let's see what let's see what we got. Okay. What number is those? These are six. The six. I think you had them as a baby. <laughs> Did I? <laughs> yeah. It, well, full circle. Dude, these are fire. Maybe not that colorway, but the sixes. But the sixes? Yeah. You had like every one that came out. That's awesome. See, I need that now. So if you want to start. Up, if you want to start. Uh, up until the uh, Concords. I the think, 11s? I think I'd stop being into the Jays as much around that time as you were growing up. They They didn't start. They, did, they, they didn't look as good. The 13s are one of the best shoes. I mean, okay, those two. Yeah, 13s. And, and are the nice. 12s. Dude, you're just, No, no, I had. No, Elijah had a pair of the 12s in one of his pictures. Yeah, man. So, yeah, we'll have to get you on the on the podcast uh, soon and we can go deep into childhood uh, stuff. Yeah, that sounds like a plan. I can do that. But anyway, so we'll actually we'll get into the ratings uh, of the shoes, you know, why, why everyone's here for the, this video. Um,. To remind everyone, we have a five scale grading system um, for the shoes. So you have garbage, you have uh, doing too much, straight, dope, and fire. If a shoe gets fired, that means it's a must cop. Everyone has to try to get it. Um, but let's let's go. The first the first shoe we're going to talk about today is the Air Jordan One Zoom CM CMFT Woman's Rust. Um, shoes a hundred dollars. It drops on the twenty fourth. So tomorrow. 100. $161. There you go. What did I say? A hundred. I said a hundred dollars? You said a hundred dollars. Oh, my I mean, fault. That's a big difference. Dude, <laughs> yeah, that yeah, yeah. 61 changes a lot. Yeah, my fault. $161. Yeah, I wish it was a hundred dollars. Um, yeah, what's your thoughts on these? The shoe is solid, right? Yeah. But at 161 and the other releases that have happened, the way I think about it is, is that going to win my dollars? Okay. So, I don't know... And it's a woman's shoe, like. Well, they say that, but it's a anybody. They have it in men's sizes. I, okay, but I'm <laughs> saying like, yeah, I could wear it with jeans. Yeah. Because of the way they got the suede going, um, in the shoe. Yep. But I don't. Th I don't think I would spend my one sixty one on it. It's okay. Like, it's it's. You say straight. Yeah, they're, they're okay. straight. They're straight. Like, if somebody was wearing up, like, oh, those are some nice Jordans. Yeah. But yeah, I, they're I wouldn't spend my money on they're, it. They're clean. I, I like it. Um, It's definitely a, a different shoe just because of the, you know, the colors. So when when you're going with a shoe like this, you're it's going to be with a few outfits. It's, it's not an everyday shoe. Um, But they to me, they, they pop, right? Like, if someone has this shoe on... You're gonna notice notice it. Um, I'm gonna go dope. I, I really like the shoe. I think it's cool. Um, building my my sneaker uh, collection, it, this wouldn't be it. But it is uh, 
for the future. Like once once you have a shoe game established, this the shoe's definitely in. Yeah, maybe if they got it at Nike Outlet. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man. For $99. You, got, you wanted to go to the I, outlet? <laughs> hey, oh, man. man. I'm not, those not getting bought at Foot Locker. I can tell you that. That's well, what I'm that's saying. That's tough. That's super tough. All right, man. So next, we got the Jordan MA2 Future Beginnings. Um, what does that even mean? What is this MA? What is it? So it's it's not a retro shoe. It's one of his newer. It's a newer shoe um, and a newer look. Like, it doesn't look like any of his other shoes. No, it don't. Um, So, and I think that's probably why they called it Future Beginnings, low-key. Um, but this is priced at $150. Drops on the 25th. Um, I, I go back and forth with those. I, I like it, but I don't at the same time. <laughs> they look like a cross trainer. Okay. And I would need to know how light they are. Because okay. if they're heavy, there's no way I'm buying it. Cause they don't look like they're heavy, though. I can't tell, though. Like, they can't just, like, they can't be, they need to be light for <laughs> me to wear those. Like, you, those can't be just regular weighted shoes. Yeah, those I don't, joints need to be they're super probably light. not. Only, I'm only saying not because right now what's in is the, the super comfy, super light shoe. And this is, like, a design for, for that, that same look, that look. Um... I don't know. And Eli was actually, uh, not to keep bring him up, but he sent me, he texted th- this to me last week. Uh, I'm not he surprised. was excited. He that was is, excited about this a, shoe. That, and I think that's, that is an Eli shoe. <laughs> yeah, he was definitely excited that is about definitely this one. Eli. Like, I could see him being like, dude, these are so real. These are so <laughs> yeah. cold. And I'd be like, bro, see, because they look like Reeboks. That's my issue. Kind of. You know, that that's a good... This day, they do kind of look like Reeboks. that's why I said that's why it's going to matter how much they weigh Yeah. if I were to actually buy those. I wouldn't wear those. All right, what's your rating then? See, they're not doing too much because they're plain. <laughs> they're, yeah. They're, they're okay. So they're straight? I, they're straight. I'm going straight too. I, I, think, I think it's... They're just straight. Like, they're okay. Um... There's nothing special to me. There's nothing special about them. No. Um, but you know, good luck on getting those guys. All right. So the next shoot that we are uh, rating here is the Angel Chin by Adidas Superstar Eighties. They have multiple colorways, but the one we're looking at are this icy pink uh, colorway. And I can tell you now. Well, they're three hundred dollars shoes. Yeah. And for me, I'm going to just give you my right off the bat. <laughs> right when I looked at them, they're doing way too much. Doing too much. They're, they're doing too much and they're trash. That's how I feel about <laughs> you those. You can't things. have a bulk rating. Bro, <laughs> you trying to give a bulk like, rating? They're, okay. Okay. They, I, I don't know. I, like, those is garbage. Okay. I could, like, I mean, what? Like, they got all these big bubbles on the bottom of the <laughs> yeah. shoe. Like, what are you doing? That that's what lost me. So, I mean, it's the classic Adidas, and and it's because it's a collab. So, whoever Angel Chin is, um, they must have wanted to add those those ridges or whatever it is, uh, mountains on the the bottom of the shoe. Man, they look like the Arizona. They mountains. look they like do. mountains. You, like when you, in, it's like if you ever been to Arizona, they got these. The uh, like mountain drones on the walls on the yep, highway. That's, that's what it what looks that like. like. <laughs> yep, it looks just like that. Um, so they must have wanted to add that to it, and it messed it up. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go garbage as well. Uh, it's just not a good shoe. And then I don't like the icy pink either. Um, and it sounds like Adidas just kind of in the icy mood uh, following the Beyonce <laughs> drop. So <laughs> they're going to give you some icy uh, pink. Maybe that's supposed to be glaciers. Maybe that's what that, uh, maybe that's that, what that's that supposed to be. Sense. That um, makes sense. That does make more sense. But I think they should have kept icy off. Like, don't don't tie that into <laughs> Beyonce stuff. Hey, For real. Adidas said we got to we gotta ride this wave. The next shoe we got... <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Nike Air Tune Max OG. Is that celery? Yep. Celery. The back Weird. is celery. Weird. Um, $170. Drops on the 25th. Um, I don't even know what to say about these shoes. These are 
awful. Dude, those, those, <laughs> I mean, like, I can't get anything but trash out of my hair. Like, I don't, they're awful. Like, if you see these, <laughs> like, at, it's like if you see these at Foot Lock or Finish On, you like, Nike be doing too much. Like, Air Max think they can do whatever they want, and people just gonna buy it because they got Max on them. And I, yeah, and that's where I'm like, I don't even know why you would buy these shoes. And, and this is what I'd be talking about when the designers of shoes, like, they really sat down and came out with this. But there must be some aerodynamic. Again, it don't matter. if it's a running shoe and it appears to be one of those shoes like you go jogging in yeah. in the morning, like if they're light, I could see wearing them because when you run, you need the cushion. So Dude, more than the, I'm just saying like, I can see Nothing excuses where, that bronze color, bro. Like that bronze and the green, nothing well, excuses I, that. I will say like if I had on uh, my, my Nike tights right and i'm running in the morning jogging those would be fire and my black like they would actually go pretty well like so you like them i don't like them because I, I, <laughs> i'm trying to see, i'm trying to like imagine wearing those to the mall okay and those don't look hot wearing to the mall those look good just running in the morning that's what i'm trying to say like, i don't think they look good for running shoes they would because, again, if you got all black tights on and you got those shoes on, they're going to look good because of that bronze color and then the green in the back. They're going to look they're going to look good. No, but I don't want my first look like they're round spaceshipy. So I don't yeah. I don't like that look like they're not going to get my hundred and seventy dollars. I know that. Not yeah. That and shoe. then one hundred and seventy dollars makes it even worse. Uh, so, yeah, garbage for me. I feel like you can't give it garbage. Cause you kind of no, like it, cause it's, I, it's a running shoe. I like shoe, it so in certain situations. I'm I don't saying, know, but like, it's a running shoe, so you don't so think for it's what garbage. They are, yeah, for what they are, they're they're cool. They're like <laughs> they are. Uh, what's what's below fire? Dope. They're kind of dope. Oh yeah, my god! For a running shoe. Oh wow. Okay. Like my initial look. I was like, man, those is those is garbage. This is yeah. trash. But then but as I the keep looking look at, at them, and I imagine like, well, what would I wear those with? Mm -hmm. Like, I wouldn't wear them with any of my regular clothes. Yeah, it's not a street shoe. But in my athletic clothes, yeah, those is gonna be like killing it. Yeah, that's interesting. Okay, I was uh, I'm shocked by that. Yeah, I am too. That's to, funny. to be honest with you. Yeah, yeah, that was surprising. The next shoe is a Nike Air Force One Low Rose. The price is $110. Uh, and the colorway is pink and white. These is straight fire. There's no doubt about it. Yeah, these are like, fire. Forces, man, dude. I'm like, telling you. I really, forces if, run the if, world, if, man. If if I had... <laughs> I would want to get these for somebody special. That's what I'm saying. Like That's how cold they are. Well, I'm special. They come nah, out on the twenty nah, fifth. You want to get it for mom? Yeah, but you know, like she, she, she. I would like to get them, but you know. You don't think she'll wear them? No, she she would wear those, but I'm not gonna buy those. For her. <laughs> <laughs> the the rolls on the like by the air is so tight, um, and they kind of they're sticking with. They kind of had that Valentine's Day theme um, where they had the pink and white forces earlier. They had the the pink and re pink, red and white uh, Air Maxes that dropped last week. Um, and these kind of just fall in line with with that look. Um, super fire. No, and that red, the red light just makes it pop. That, like you yeah. have the white bottom, you have this pink, all pink shoe, and then you just got this dark red like highlight with the rose and the air. Yeah. Like... Yeah, that's and nice. And then you can see the red on the tongue of the shoe. Like, that's the stuff that just makes it, like, just the, it's the little bitty things that just makes it stand out where you mm -hmm. just, like, dude, if somebody is killing, you know, walking in those, you, like. You, you look. Man. Yeah, it's going to make you look like, oh, them is fire. Right. <laughs> like, can you nice. imagine being at MOA and you, like, look at them shoes. Yeah, like, yeah. where do you get them from? Like, oh, you doing it. Yeah, they can get And for $110. They're clean, yeah. man. Forces, dude. I'm telling you, forces are, they're the ones. Definitely a summer shoe. Yeah, yeah. You can't wear those, really. Actually, no. I'm not wearing those outside. You can, wear those, you can wear them uh, in the winter. I wouldn't walk in the I, snow, dude, but. No, man. I can't get that white dirty. That's, 
that do Minnesota. They not gonna get dirty, dude. Are. No, they won't though. Fam, I don't want the bottoms that dirty. To be honest with you, you're like, hilarious. Them things, those is real. So the next shoe we got is the New Balance Nine Nine One, made in the UK twentieth anniversary. Um, these guys are two hundred dollars, <laughs> and they drop on the twenty sixth. Um, <laughs> I feel like they priced these at two hundred dollars just to try to keep up with the industry. Cause like, why is that shoe two hundred dollars? Like, there's nothing about that shoe <laughs> that says anybody is going to they, pay for some New Balance. Maybe only in the UK will somebody like crazily pay two hundred dollars for these shoe. I mean, what about them though? Like, and that's the thing. So New Balance to me is like the yard shoe. It's the shoe that you wear when you're cutting the grass or working <laughs> on the yard. Like that's what this shoe is. Or like. The is I mean it's a dad shoe so it's like I just don't see anybody paying two hundred dollars for this shoe. Yeah, I don't like. I don't know why. And I I don't even know if I've ever seen someone just wear New Balances like minus old people. And Elijah. I was gonna say I think Elijah. <laughs> I think I've seen him in some New Balances, and I'm like, bro, what? Are, uh, I mean, don't get me wrong. Like I am. Like, so I, just, for full disclosure, like, I'm a Nike person. So, like, I probably got a little bit of impartiality with some shoes just because... These just ain't nice. It's okay. No, these is garbage. Don't get me <laughs> yeah. wrong. But, like, I think we were at... I was at Champs last week or two weeks ago. Yeah. And I seen some New Balances that were halfway decent. And I was like, dude, I've never seen a pair of New Balances that I thought was just straight. Yeah, yeah. Those aren't it though. No. no, those is garbage. Yeah, these are definitely garbage. And then the and then you're like the colors are so blah. There's just nothing. Yeah, it, it actually it doesn't matter what color these shoes are. This is just not good. New Balance to me, they'll they'll never probably get a good rating from me. So if New Balance comes up, it's probably gonna be a garbage for me. <laughs> low, low key. Um, it, yeah, it's tight. All right, the next shoe we got is the Nike Air Max Plus Atlanta. $170. The colorway again is pink. These is fire. I don't know what it is with like pink Nike Air Maxes or Forces, but they did these right. You like, like the pink color? No, I actually like pink. Pink, st pink is really bright, but like it's the fade of the pink. Like okay. you have to have the right color pink and Nike did it right with this pink. Yeah. Like if you look at the top of the shoe, like it goes from a dark pink and it just fades down to the light, light pink. Yeah. Well, and they kind of got a little white in the, um, the arch of, the, of your shoe too. Yeah. So I mean, nice. and they just look super comfortable. Like I can look at that shoe and it's like your foot just like, man, please put me in that, in that <laughs> shoe. Like your foot is crying to be in that shoe. Okay. So you're giving it fire. Yeah. Those is fire. Um, I, so Th these are are not my style, so I only typically wear like bright color shoes if it's like my workout shoe. Um, I don't know. I'm I'm trying to decide what I want to give. I'll these. tell you what. Like if you were like if you went to the gym in those shoes as a, as a girl as a woman, right? They're gonna be like. She no, know what no, she, those are she, nice. She knows what she's doing. Like, yeah, no, those you, are nice like, workout shoes. I don't even if it's the first time you are at the <laughs> gym. Like, everybody gonna think like you are a trainer or something if you come in with those. Yeah, no, that's those how, are nice, and that's what and that's why I'm thinking of what I want to grade it. Cause yeah, I would wear those as my gym shoe. Uh, I'm gonna go dope. It's not fire to me, um, and they're pink. I'm not the biggest pink person. Like I said, so forces, they kind of, they just look real cold. Um, but yeah, I would, I'm gonna go I dope. would say gonna like, go but see, you don't see yourself in those shoes, but like those are the shoe. Also, again, if you wear those shoes as a woman and you wear those with some leggings, like, no, I know it's gonna like look everybody nice. gonna be like, dude, those shoes are I'm so not, fire. I'm not like, saying, I'm would, not saying they have, won't you look have nice. And I'm not coming saying, up to you like, I need those shoes. Those shoes is the realest shoes. I bet ever. they would. I'm not saying that. I'm saying from it just my on my foot. I don't know if I would do it. If dude, I would like your it like foot that. would be the best because you have a little. Your foot is small. So oh my you, gosh, dude! I'm telling you, 
So the next shoe we got is the Nike Cosmic Unity uh, Green Glow. Uh, these guys are $150. They drop on the 26th. Uh, so Saturday. So, you know, Saturday launches. Um, this is too, it's too spacious for me. I think, um, yeah, I'm gonna give this garbage. I am rocking with those actually. You like them? I do like them and I'm not a green type of person like green on me. I'm running, but yeah. my rating for these shoes, I'm going to say they're dope. Okay. Um, I like the, the symmetrical build of the shoe. I like the little bubble in the bottom. Like, I really like that shoe. I I, I mean, it, it it it's rolling for me. Yeah, I, I could see me wearing those. Interesting. The yeah, no, I don't. I mean, I don't even have much to say about it. They're just too spacious. They look like. Mm -hmm. Right, but you don't have a shoe like you don't have a shoe in your closet that looks like that. No, That's but I don't want a shoe in my closet that look, look like that. And they look light. They look comfortable. Like all I'm seeing I, is cushion. But I'll on wear the box. Yeezys. Super, I, like, those is, Yeezys are not a great looking shoe, but <gasps> I digress. You I mean, think those are better than Yeezys? I would wear those all day before the Yeezys. No doubt That's about it. That's just because you have something against Adidas. No, I don't have anything Dude, against Adidas. come on, But man. I would wear those any day before. The Yeezys look like spaceships. That, that looks that like a spaceship. That does not look like a spaceship. And the, the swoosh looks like it's the, the moon. Yeah, they probably did that on purpose. Right. It's cosmic that's unity. I'm, yeah. I mean, that's purposeful. But it's going to match. Like, I can wear those with um, black jeans. I can wear that with blue jeans. I can right. wear that with color wash. Like, you but can it wear don't a make lot. The shoe like, look I good. can wear those with so many different pairs of shorts. <laughs> like, and everybody's going to be like, dude, that's cold. Like, that's a nice outfit. It's always going to, it's really going to work with a lot of stuff. Hmm. Okay. Get ahead of that. All right. Next, we got <laughs> Pharrell and Adidas uh, Terex tra tra Trailmaker Mid. So these guys are $220. Uh, they drop on the 26th. Um, man, my guy Pharrell. This is, you know what? I like his human race uh, shoes. Um, these boots, though, <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know. I have to think. What are you? What are you thinking? I'm thinking they just look like a boot, and they look like they're tough to get into. I don't. I don't like them. It's for like that a reason. sock. I know, but I, I feel like I'm not gonna be able to get my foot out of them once I get into them, and I'm gonna struggle to get into that boot. Like I don't. You're rating this on how tough it's gonna be to put on. Well, and, off. and they're plain. <laughs> like they're just a black boot. Like bro. Like I mean, I like boots. I like Tim's mm -hmm. and all. Um. But like those, I don't know. I, they, they're gonna be comfortable though. Like, look at the, you know, the sole of the shoe. They got that. Um, I'm just. They probably are. And like, yeah. if I look like I can go hiking in those, but I'm not gonna go hiking in those boots for two hundred and twenty dollars. That's just not gonna happen. I so, bet those hiking boots are expensive though. They probably are the for real hikers. The ones that ain't gonna fall off and stuff. Yeah, but I mean, I can get some from Journeys, you know, a good, I'm just saying like, oh, I don't have to buy, I'm not going to buy these to go hiking in, but that's what they're made for. Me personally, yeah. you know, I'm not, I'm not rolling like that. It's so, trail maker. but, and they just plain like, but see, that's my issue with Adidas. All their shoes are just plain. Come Even on, their, man. Even these boots. So I'm going to say they're trash. You're giving it trash? I'm giving it trash. I don't okay. there's nothing about that boot that I like. I'ma go, I'ma go, uh they're dope. And it ha it probably has a, a whole lot of influence because they're for real. Oh man. Um, See, I don't think about the name when but I'm looking at a shoe. I know, but I probably would never get them or they look wear like them. Moon boots. Like growing said, up, man, they look like the monster boots. boots. Yeah. They we call them moon boots, man. Look up. Google moon boots. That's what them joints look like. They can't look like no moon boots. I'll make sure I'll post them because <laughs> most of us. Well, I, yeah, I don't even know what moon boots look. Moon boots look like. So we gonna look that up. <laughs> them joints is moon boots, man. <laughs> <laughs> they don't look like no moon boots. Yes, they do. You're funny. The bottom of them is moon boot. Come on, man. Bro, no. look at yeah. 
Yeah. Those no. they I don't agree with that, but anyway. <laughs> yeah, yes, they did. We're going to go dope, Oh, man. my gosh. We're going dope. Man, you can have them shoes, man. You're crazy. Dude, I'll go buy me some moon boots, for real. All right, so the next shoe we're doing is the Adidas Yeezy basketball uh, QNTMs. Or quantums, whatever. Quantum. Um, These guys, $250. Dropped in February 27th. I thought these already came out. Maybe not. Um... But these are garbage. Adidas, so Yeezy's basketball shoe is so bad. Like I hate, I hate how they look. They look clunky, um, and I, yeah, I don't, I don't like them. I think that's the best pair of Yeezys that I've ever seen. Oh my goodness! And, and they're only, I would say they're straight. They're not great. You know what I mean? They're not dope. You like these better than I like those better than the the three fifties. The ones I like, the ones I got. You know, I I'll say you're. There's some there's some people that wear the Yeezys and they look pretty solid, but overall, just the look of the shoe with nobody in them, I think they're garbage. To be wow. honest with you. So, so these Yeezy's... though, like they're cool up until they get to that black. I don't know what they did with the black in the back where it just like just slopes down. It kind of takes away the aesthetic. Mm-hmm. But the front part of the shoe where it's kind of where it's white, yeah, those are cool. But this looks like a shoe I would make in 2K. Like, if I had to build me a shoe, like... <laughs> look like the 2K generic shoe. That's what I'm saying. They look like the generic, the generic ones. Like, yeah, that's not that good. That don't have the name. Those, those shoes are horrible. I'm just saying, that's what they look like. So you said, you said I said straight? they're straight because they, I think they look better than the general Yeezys. Yeah, they're they're garbage to me. I, I can't stand... Uh, the only Yeezys I like are 350s, so it, it honestly don't matter. Well, because most of the These Yeezys, they got the, 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 the sole of the shoe goes extends all the way back, and those mm-hmm. don't. I, that's probably what helps for me. Yeah, nah. They can keep them. All right, this next shoe that we have is the ready-made uh, Nike Blazer Mid-White. Um, 160. These are 160. Whew. Like I, from an artistic standpoint, yes. I want to be like, dude, these joints is fire, like <laughs> yes. man. But in honesty, like they're doing way too much. It's a fine line. <laughs> <laughs> these are and these, they crossed it. No, these are on the border of doing too much and like fire, <laughs> like to me. And like you said, it's very artistic. Um. But they're also the blazers, and blazers are a shoe that you just try stuff with, uh, because the canvas is so easy just to try some stuff with. Um, no, they're trying, they're trying, and I think it's one of those things that you have can, to see. Like, on the I need foot. to see the front of the shoe. Like, can you, yeah, yeah, we get some. Can you get a different angle? Like, oh man, <laughs> it's like because it almost <laughs> looks like there's tape on on the bottom or i don't know what's on the bottom i mean <laughs> i mean they they okay they're... i'm changing mine i'm changing mine <laughs> so we're we're going through uh but those do, soles oh my... are fire like those soles are so cold yeah, i like yeah. the bottom of the shoe is so real dude the material is all different I keep going back and forth because I kind of like these shoes. You'd be like, dude, they somebody just threw these shoes together. Yeah. And like, look at what I made. Like, you know what they look like? You know how they, when people do drawings and they be yep. exaggerated? Yeah. Like, that's what those well, are. Well, like the swoosh is like a squiggle line. Like the swoosh ain't even straight. Dude, that looked like the Nike shoe I made in fifth grade. For real. <laughs> like, the Nike, the like the swoosh is not in the right place and it's big in one yeah. spot and skinny. Like, Somewhere else. That's yeah. exactly what those. That's what those are. I'm gonna go. I'm. A, I'm not gonna say fire, but I'll go dope. I'll go dope. These are dope. Like, I would like they're doing too much, but I might buy. I would. I might buy them if that make. I don't know if that makes any sense. Doing too much is too low, and you can't have. You I can't know, buy but doing like too much, man. I, like I feel like in my closet, I need a shoe that's doing too much. Like I don't have a shoe that's doing too much. That might be the Just one. And a, I don't even like but high if you go, tops. But you can go dope, though, because... And those don't I look mean, like dope, this. Those look, they look art, really high. It's just a super artistic shoe. Yeah, blazers are high tops. Then why they say mid? Because those aren't mid. Those are high. Because there's some higher ones. 
but no, these are mids. But they do have higher ones. But blazers are typically like. But I'm no I'm saying I my I, or my I would say, like they're not straight. And they're they're either. All right, I can't tell you what to choose. Go ahead. I know want? that what they're like either do dope or they're doing too much, and I feel like they're doing too much. But I want them. Like I want the shoe that's doing too much. That one. Like right. there's some shoes that's doing too much. You like, dude, I can't have that. But those, like, I want to wear those around and be like, dude, what do you got on? <laughs> yeah. Like, and I'm like, I know, right? Like yeah. they're doing too much, but they're fire. You know what helps it? Is a shoestring. Yeah. That gold in the that, shoestring yeah, is what really kind of cool. tying it in to where you like, dude, I would be but like. It, it could also be one of those things when you open the box, you'd be like, bark. Like, why? No, but you know what? Like, that's the shoe where somebody, when, when people see you in that shoe, they like, they got a lot of shoes. Yeah. Like, that's not your only, that's no, not yeah. your best those, shoe in your yeah, closet. Your, or, they know, you know your, what I mean? your like, shoe game is, is definitely up yeah. to levels. And... And you're super artsy. Like, there's no one that's not creative that's wearing those shoes. Like, you have to be a creative person. See, I don't think I'm super creative, but I, I, how much of them? 160. Oh, man. Like, that might be another. Well, like, that dropped you out. So, no, <laughs> well, you no, already I'm said, saying. You already said doing too much, though. So, I know, but I said I would buy them. Yeah. Even with the doing too much. All right. So, our last shoe. Uh, for the day is going to be the Air Jordan 4 Retro uh, Toupe. Is that right? To I can't pronounce anything, so my bad, y'all. Something haze. $200, which is very predictable. Uh, drop on the 27th. Um, these are fire. Y'all know J- Jordan 4s are is one of my favorite Jordan. Uh, so really, there's not a colorway in this shoe that I don't like. Um, so I'm going to go fire. I have the black Jordan 4s. Yeah. My favorite shoe. That's really the only shoe. Like, I beg my kids to, like, like play the lottery and get me that shoe because I've waited for years to have the shoe. <laughs> so that's how much I like the Jordan 4s. But they do have a lot of colorways. These are not my favorite. I, I would say, because of the 4s, I'm going to give them a low dope. Wow. And like out they would draw my attention because they're the fours and they, But what about it? You, the so design you, is always fresh. Do you not but, like do you not like the earth tones? Like do you not like the the tannish? Yeah, like that I mean I mean it there's just there's not enough happening in the shoe. It, it, they it's kinda, calm. That's it, it that's what the whole point is. It's like a calm like Yeah, but not that shoe. Like they're the for one, like the red and white ones look too good. The blue and white looks too fresh. And like the all black is too fresh too. And then you come out with these. Is I just feel like, you know what? You don't want people to buy those black ones no more. So you like... No, you these... You I'm going like, to give you these brown you ones. You could wear these always. Yeah. You like, know what? no special these occasion. Would, right. These would be the ones I wear in the winter. Because I'm not going to feel yeah. that special about those. That's crazy. So I don't, you're giving it a low dope. Yep. And, and that's only because they're my crazy. favorite shoe of all time. And like, but that color, I, I, there's, I would not, I wouldn't buy. Like, I don't even, like if they were $80, I, I would be really considering like, do I want these shoes? Interesting. $80 you would be considering? I don't like that color, man. Like that's this, crazy. That, these dude, are $200 and you're saying if they're Eighty dollars. I would consider. You would be questioning. I would be questioning. Like, do I really want these? You like, really, you don't like these shoes, so you're only giving it dope for the fours. <laughs> yeah. That's crazy. Uh, yeah, flames, flames for me. That's, what, that's is what is the Jordan on the back or the Nike symbol on the back of these? Uh, I'm a guess Jordan, but we'll see. You and you said these are fire. Yes. Why? I'm I'm really interested in your opinion. I like the tan. I like I like the tan of the shoe. They're I, not. It's not even a tan. It is though. tan. It's not tan. It's like a um. It's earth, toupee. It's an earth tone. It's toupee. That's what they. Well, I like that. Like it's, and it's a it's shoe a that you can shoe. yeah you can wear it every day. And then day. they already got cracks in them. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> like, <laughs> Dude. Jo- like who? Jo- like whoever's over Jordan Retro, like. Y'all, these are nice. No, they you don't got, gotta tell them anything. This is, no, this ones. this is the shoe that says they got too much time on their hands. Come on, man. 
That that's not the shoe. That is the shoe. Like y'all need to just like just come back out with the classic retros and stop playing around with these different materials. Somebody was somebody was in the um what do you call it? The the uh room. fabric room mm-hmm. and said, Oh, what if we put these on the fours? <laughs> That's what that. That's what they uh, did. You're hilarious, dude. I'm just saying, that's man. That's tough. Like sometimes you gotta leave good stuff alone. Come on, man. Well, I mean, that was our last shoe. Um, <laughs> he's disrespecting the that, that shoe. No, they so disrespected the four. So I'm like, I feel a little offended. You the one that gave them dope. They're the fours. So I gotta. I'm not gonna <laughs> say they're trash. Or I'm not gonna say they're doing too much. They're the fours. But I'm saying, like, sometimes you got to leave well enough alone. See, that's what happened. Like, I would go in the store and be like, man, why do they got to play with this shoe all the time? Like. That's crazy. Like, keep doing that with the ones. Like, you know, have you noticed with the ones, they got like 80,000 different ones. Well, because ones is an easy shoe to okay. well, customize. Well, you want to play around materials, they need to throw those on the ones. Leave Come the on, fours man. fresh and Those fire were nice, always. though. No, they weren't. Anyway, anyway, we're done. We're done with that shoe. Uh, thanks for coming <laughs> on. Uh, we'll have to. We'll have to have you come back when Eli's here as well. I'm sure he would. He would like to hear your your thoughts. And I know there's some stuff y'all would not agree on. Um, oh, we would have a whole different shoe selection if Eli was here. Like we're not even gonna go through those shoes. We would go through shoes that he would like, and I would be like, no, those is hot garbage. Wow, man. You know what? Our style and shoe, and you know who else like. If we really did this for real, Alan, like you just don't know. Like when you guys out the house, me and Alan, like we have one on one conversation about shoes. Okay. And like we have, we do not like the same shoe. And I have no, I like, I don't know where he got his taste in shoes from, but like if they're not Vans or they're not plain, he'd be like, I don't like them. Well, we'll have to get, uh, I mean, that's my guy. We'll have to get A Train on the count. Counts is my guy. But my goodness, these dudes in these shoes, man, I don't get it. So you're saying I'm the closest in taste to yours? Jordan, yeah. I'm, but you how, just gave that shoe. How you many just years did you? How Jordan. many years did you only have Jordans? Probably up until like last year. <laughs> okay, so right, so that's all. Like if it was Nike, I either had Nike or Jordans. That's what yeah. I always wore. The like, only the reason you know I, I changed over, shoes. No, actually, I got t- I had I like Tim's and stuff too though. No, but that don't count. Those yeah. are, you know, when I've changed gym shoes, the the first time I bought a different shoe were the Curry ones. Mm, that's interesting. Those Curry ones, those are so fire. And then the black and the shooting the suit and tie. I'm trying to think what shoe was my first non Jordan shoe. I want to. I want to say the. My Kobe's, the ones I work at, you know, the, the orange ones we all got, yeah. like we all yep. got the matching ones. Yeah. I think those were my first ones. And then I got the LeBron soldiers. Yeah. Um, But that's Nike. I, I don't know what I got outside of Nike. Uh, the Yeezys, I guess. Yeah. The Yeezys and the, the, my the, first the Beyonce's. Yeah, yeah, my first purchase outside of Nike's was uh, my Yeezys, if we're not counting Tim's and Vans. But... Well, I mean, we're going over time, but yeah, 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 like yeah. Vans might count as a... No, a yeah, I shoe. love Vans. Um. Anyway, that's the show. Uh, They'll make your foot fall, though. Thanks, <laughs> thanks for coming on. <laughs> uh, we'll have to have you back, like I said. Uh, make sure y'all check out the podcast. <laughs> we drop every Monday. Um, this now is we're kind of on schedule of we, we drop every Wednesday, so be on the lookout for the shoe ratings. Let us know if y'all get anything. Um, man, I'm happy I got my Jays. I'll I'll let y'all know the first time I wear them. It's probably gonna be a while because Minnesota's starting to get messy with the snow melting, and then spring is gonna be rainy. So those guys ain't probably gonna come out for a couple months. But when they do, I'll let y'all know and we'll we'll uh, flick it up. Anyway, thanks for watching. Y'all have a good uh, rest of y'all week uh peace out peace out